Hello everyone, this is uh, Dr. Anand Mamdapur. I am the Senior Consultant and Head of Department of Critical Care Medicine at Sakra World Hospital, Bangalore. Today, I am going to speak about the role of dialysis in the ICU. Many patients who get admitted in the ICU require dialysis. Most of these are because of infections, sometimes because of some underlying disease process, sometimes because of medications, particularly painkillers, some alternative treatment therapies. Most of these patients who require dialysis, they usually recover from the dialysis in ICU. Presence of kidney failure in an ICU patient increases the risk of death by two times. So, it is very important to treat this form of kidney failure. Most of the time, these patients recover from the kidney failure Many families do have this doubt whether this dialysis is permanent or not, but most of the time it is temporarily. Only in patients who have had pre-existing kidney disease, they only have a likelihood of requiring a long-term dialysis. Otherwise, most of them recover from the kidney failure, they become dialysis-free and they become dialysis-free for the rest of the life. Thank you very much.